Hey, here is a quick video that will show you how to access um, your homework, what you're supposed to do for your homework assignments. Um, so it's not really that hard, even though it, it may have seemed confusing to some of you, but um, I think once we get going, you'll be fine. So you'll need to pull up your um, list from the syllabus of what the topic is, the assignment number, the pages within the lab manual, and the questions that you need to do. So if we take a look at the first one, so we're over here in, um, in the lab manual itself, and so the first assignment A that is due um, within the first week of school is pages 16 to 22. So we just scroll down, we find pages 16 to 22. So you'll read through all this information, and then, Okay, so here we are on page 16, right here. Let me, uh, I'm not gonna annotate. Okay, and so then it says do question number one. Okay, so you don't have to make a table like this if you just type it into a Word document. And then what is the smallest? So out of this list right here, okay, so you've got tissue, organelle, atom, organ, organ system, cell, organism, molecule. So you're just gonna put what the smallest one is, what its definition is, and then the next and next and next until you get to the largest one. Question number two, summarize the major similarity for what defines tissues, organs, and organ systems in one phrase. So you're just gonna type that out, just put number two. Then we're gonna go down here. And so um, you're not gonna do question number three. You'll notice on there that it's not there. Okay, question number four is complete the table below for each directional term. So what is superior, what is inferior, medial, lateral, and so on. Okay, question number six. So you just keep going. So here we are to question number six. So it'll be under the check your understandings. So then you're gonna answer six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're gonna go to 10. Here we are, 10, 11, and 12. And now you'll see we're on page 22. So those are the questions that you answer under the check your understanding for um, lab number one. Let's go to the next one, to cells. So that starts on page 30. So we're gonna go way down here. Let's see what page you're on, 29, 30. All right, so here we are at, um, at the picture of the cell. Now, if you don't have the ability to copy and paste and then type into these, I know that in the past I've had students that knew how to do that. Personally, I don't know how to do that, so I'm okay with that. You can just put in your next document, parts of the cell and then you know you can pick wherever you want to start top is always best and then so if you go clockwise from intermediate filament then you would type in what that is and what that is and then what that is and all the way down into the boxes and here are the words that you're able to use based on this picture that's up there okay so it's the same picture all right then as we go down to pages 31 and 32, let's get to those pages. Okay, so here's page 31, and we're doing question one through four. So here's question one and two, compare and contrast the cytoplasm versus the cytosol. And then number two, summarize the function of the plasma membrane in one sentence. And then we go down to page 32, and here is question three, name one major structural, structural similarity and similarity and one major structural difference between cells and organelles and then complete the table and there it is and then that's all that you have to do for b so then you would just put all those answers into a document and you want to just label it b maybe put in your header that your name and answer b whatever you want now once you um have gotten have you done those separate documents then when you go to assignments because i didn't tell you guys how to do that yesterday but um or in the other video but anyway so oh i have to be in student view sorry because i don't get to submit anything so if we go to student view and we go to our module and we go down here to our homework assignment you have a little box right here so then when we click on the assignment box then you choose a file so down here choose file and then and, and it'll pop up and then you hit submit and then it will be in my Dropbox so that I can grade it. So that's how you do your homework. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I put 
Um, if you take a look at CNS and PNS, so homework N, for example, on 323, you're going to complete the table. On 324, you're going to label the diagram. On 328, label the diagram. 329, complete the table. So I put what you need to do on each one of those. But you're going to put all of those together in one document, and that'll be N, and that'll be your homework that you submit for the CNS and PNS. All right, let me know if there's any other questions that you have on how to do that. And, um, and I wish you great success, but again, let me know if you've got any questions at all. Thanks.